Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to the channel. I am Shanice Walker, your life coach and your motivational speaker. I thank you so much for clicking the button and finding some importance in what I have to say. Look y'all, I hope and pray that everybody has had a wonderful day today. I hope that everybody has been blessed. Um, I wanted to get on here. Um, I had made a video, I believe it was um, Saturday. And the video was cut short, but I felt like I was doing you guys a disservice. So I wanted to get back up here uh, briefly and just talk to you guys about the rest of the video that I wanted to put in there. Um, so if you have not seen um, the video that I put out on Saturday, I believe it was, uh, you have gotten rid of your Judas you you got rid of the judas in your life i believe that's exactly what it was um excuse me y'all you got rid of the judas in your life so i wanted to touch on that just a little bit for y'all um for the ones that don't really know and for the ones that do kind of know um a little bit but i wanted to give a little bit more insight on what god was saying in that message um, so we all know that God knew that somebody was going to portray him. God knew that it was going to be Judas that was going to uh, portray him. So Judas ended up portraying God. But my reason for saying this is to say, my reason for saying that is to say this. Um, you know, a lot of times we have Judases in our lives. A lot of times we have Judases in our lives and y'all, these people are completely camouflaged that we don't know um we don't know who these people are unless we have discernment and if you are on this video you are a chosen one you're not on here just being nosy baby you chosen and you have discernment god has blessed you with the gift of discernment and you know whether you have a judas in your life or not and like i said a lot of times these people um they secretly hate you they secretly hate you. They will pretend to give you the shirt off their backs. But as soon as you turn your back, they are kicking your back in. These people, some of y'all have slept with them. Some of y'all have called them uh, bro, sis, uh, mama, daddy. I mean, and these people literally will have you thinking that they are for you all the while. They are most definitely against you. Um, so like I said in my last video, you got rid of your Judas. You got rid of your Judas. You knew exactly who the Judas was in your life. And for the ones that have not yet figured it out, but you have a clue, God is saying, get rid of them. Get rid of that Judas. With you being in contact with this Judas, this is hindering your blessings. This Judas has completely put a hope on your blessings. This Judas is literally sucking you dry. This Judas is stealing your identity. This Judas has taken everything from you. So it is time for you to wake up if you have not yet got this Judas out of your life. God is saying, you're not waiting on him. He is waiting on you. It is time for you to take control take control over your life regardless of what the situation is going to look like after this judas is gone regardless of what lies the enemy is trying to um have you think about this person if you get rid of them oh you're not gonna have this if you get rid of them you're not you're not gonna be able to, to succeed in that god said who are you putting your trust in examine that who are you putting your trust in? Are you putting your trust in him? Or are you putting your trust in man? God said this enemy has literally stolen enough from you. Enough is enough. He said there is a hope on everything that you are asking for. He cannot get these things to you. And I think, um, I don't know if it was in my last video, but the video before that where I, where I said that, you know, everything that you have prayed and asked God for, it is prepared for you. It is already prepared. God has already prepared it, but he is waiting for you to come in alignment with it. God cannot give you what you need if you have a Judas attached to you. 
like I said before, God hears, he can hear the conversations that these people have about you when you are not present. He knows the hearts of these people. He know that they ain't no good for you. He knows that they set out for evil against your life. He knows. He knew from day one when you attached yourself to this person or to these people or whatever your situation may be. But for, for a lot of us, God said, you got rid of that Judas. You got rid of that Judas. And baby, you finna take flight. And oh, that's a whole nother video. And I'm gonna bring it back. And I'm gonna hit y'all with that video later on tonight. But God said, you about to take flight. You cannot have, you cannot afford for a Judas to be attached to you. And like I said, Judas was somebody that he, he secretly despised God. This Judas secretly despises you. This Judas cannot stand you because of the light that you hold. This Judas can't stand you because of how other people love you. This Judas cannot stand you because you have real authentic happiness in your life and they can't stand it. They still trying to figure out how did you make it? They still trying to figure out how are you still alive after all the lies and all the backstabbing and everything that they done to you. They still trying to figure out how are you still making it every day? These people will tell you one thing in your face, but secretly, baby, they want to take your place. They want to take your place. And if it means that they got to cut your head off to do it. Hmm. God said, get rid of that Judas. Get rid of that Judas because that right now is what's holding you up. That right now is what's holding up your blessing. God said, it's time to take flight. Oh, and I want to give y'all that so bad, but I'm right here. I'm waiting. Um, I'm out right now and that is going to be a separate message, but I wanted to come back and I felt like I was doing y'all a disservice because God had really laid this thing on me heavy and it spoke volumes to me. God said, get rid of that Judas because for a lot of y'all, if you have not got rid of the Judas yet, you know who the Judas is. God said he can't take you to your next level. He can't, he can't promote you any further. He can't give you increase anymore until you get rid of this Judas. He needs for you to get rid of this Judas. He needs for you to get rid of it. Her, him, whoever. Hey, thank you. He needs for you to get rid of this Judas. So God says, you are not waiting on him. He is waiting on you. And for the ones that has gotten rid of their Judas, baby, God said, we finna take flight. And like I said, be prepared because I got a message coming soon. God, ooh, that thing was so good. It was good to my soul. God said, we finna take flight. We fully loaded. We got our bags ready. But for y'all, like I said, for the ones that have not yet got your Judas out of your life, get that person out of, get that person away from you. I don't care how much they smile in your face. I don't care how much you feel like, oh, this person done been down with me through thick and thin. We got history. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Don't ever choose history over your growth. That's one thing that I had to come to terms with. Shanice, you cannot choose history over your growth. You cannot continue to hold on to what was. Baby, that's your past. That's what was. It's time for you to focus on what's to come. And God said, with that Judas in your way, with that nasty heart, and look, this is another thing, too, that I had to come to terms with, y'all. Something that hit me heavy in the spirit when I finally got the knowledge of it. A lot of times we try to figure out, you know, how was our lives so on point before we met some of these people? How or, you know, how how was I not able to grow as much as I did 
the moment I separated myself from these people. God said, you don't understand that these people hold spirits. These people are connected to evil things. And with them being connected to that evil, where do you think that they going to, what with you being connected to that person, they are going to project those evil spirits off onto you. And baby, you chosen, you hold the light. So guess who going to be fighting those demons even harder than the person that that's carrying them. Them demons are projected off onto you. God said, it's time for you to sever all ties with your Judas. It's time for you to come to terms. It's time for you to break it. Get away from them demons. Get away from them evil spirits. Because baby, they holding you back. That Judas is holding you back. I don't care how much he, she, them smile up in your face, make you feel like they your best friend. They got your back. They would never want to see you wronged in any type of way. God said, you know, deep down in your heart, he has given you discernment. You have that. And you know, you know, he showed you plenty of times. You would never have to question a person when they real. That's one thing about it. Real going to always recognize real. And the fake they always going to hate. They going to hate on you. They going to lie on you. They going to steal from you. Because baby, they going to always hate on what they cannot understand. Look, y'all. My food is here. I'm not going to hold y'all. Like I said, I will be back later on to um, drop um, the video uh, about taking flight, y'all. It is time. It's time. We finna take flight. I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit the noti bell so that you will not miss another video like this one. I love y'all and I will see you on the next video.